The big boss is here. It's the Lekker Tom 720. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tour to Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese with the four piece warranty, Orky Triple XL. And if you're new here, you might not be aware that I like terrible dad jokes like the Lacquer Time 720. That's what it really kind of stands for. We're going through a bit of heat wave still here in South Africa in March. Can you believe it? Um, I was waiting for autumn to swing around, but apparently not. We're just going to have endless summer. It is cooking over here. And I gave the cooler that we're testing this big sucker up against actually a head start by doing the run in the morning when the studio and everything was a lot cooler. And this thing still absolutely shellacked it. It's got one of the best pumps you could possibly hope to have. And they've paired that up with their FK120s, which are pretty much some of the best fans you could hope to have. So let's go through what's in the box. Well, obviously you get a giant cooler. <laughs> A 360 mm rad with a really nicely actually removable pump head which is kind of cool and then you get three of those fk120s and all of the fittings and finishes you're going to need to strap it to your cpu while the pump is the main provider of performance over here these fans are absolutely no slouch i've loved fk120 since i first got my hands on them and put them into one of the actual ch510 mesh digitals which is a case that i've reviewed before and it's actually what i use and this fan kit is just overwhelmingly good. It has very good fan pressure for a fan that's really set up to be more of an airflow type fan, which is kind of interesting. But around the corners, you're going to see full rubberizing on each of those to make sure that they don't hum or cause any extra noise, which we just love, don't we? No RGB on these, so it is gonna clean up the system. This is more, a little bit more function over form, which is weird, right? With that amount of infinity mirror on the pump head, you would think it would we have RGB fans, but these fans don't need RGB to go fast and give you extra FPS. Trust me, you'll see when we get to the performance side. Then looking closer at that pump head, it does have a very, very nice finish. It is quite bulky. It does uh, shout, oh, hello, I'm a deep cool uh, LT series. And yeah, if someone's looking inside of your case, they're not going to miss it. Let's put it that way. The pump head is so big, it kind of looks like it's its own it's its own cooler in a way but actually if you remove that you can actually see the format of the pump underneath that and then those fittings that i was talking about around the edges etc they just look absolutely fantastic build quality the metal and everything that's been used in these from the clips to the screws everything just feels a chef's kiss now, what about that testing and performance? So our baseline is the Corsair H100, which is one of the better 240mm radiators and generally drives a price of about 1,600 Rand. So it's got a very good price versus performance in general. And Corsair we know is all reliable. These coolers come with three and five year warranties to the Corsair uh, series. So that's why it's been our baseline for the longest time. And in general, 240mm rads are enough especially where gaming is considered but you'll see here where multi-threading is considered especially with a 200 watt guzzler like our 13600k it can it can chew some power and create some heat we've teamed that up with 32 gigs of a data xpg that's 5200 megahertz cl38 on our z690 torpedo so nothing here is under spec everything's got enough power delivery and enough supporting performance to get the most out of our cpu let's jump into those performance results because it is the most bully beat down i have ever tested this is by far the best performing cooler i've tested even at 360 more radiator the fact that the averages on like the 70s and 80s is astronomically good. That is with the fan going absolutely full tilt. I ran another test with it at 50% where the ambient temperature was arguably even hotter and it still got very, very close to the uh, to the actual performance. So yeah, um, uh, let's just say the fan curve is not really a major issue when it comes to this cooling system. And that's because of that awesome pump. I would say somewhat attribute a little bit of that performance as well to the anti-leak technology because it creates a pressurized system inside of the loop so that there's no air. And obviously with the water flowing over the fins more often, that is then going to help. It's basic physics in that regard. Uh, more airflow just means more better. And the same thing with water, because it can, it, it can flow over the fins, which help keep the rest of it cool inside the radiator more often. So more often is just more better. Then the fan noise, tested that as well. 25% whisper quiet, you basically can't even hear that it's on. And even at 50%, 
And it's not exactly what I would call audible or loud. If you had that in a case next to you on a table and a head, set of headphones on, you're just not going to hear it. At 75% where it hits about 1,900 RPM, things start to get a little bit noisier and then that full chat, yeah, you are going to hear these suckers. They are kind of like tornadoes, turbines. They got exceptionally good, good uh, airflow and performance as a result of that and so you're obviously going to hear that but the fact that at 50 percent the performance results were quite comparable to at 100 percent even in a cinebench run is uh, not something to turn your nose up at and it's actually giving real world performance if you had this 360 over that you're looking at more than a 10 percent performance increase over the 240 mm and like i said that was run at a better ambient temperature you can see the time on the ada 64 benchmark for that it was done in the morning whereas this was done more cl closer towards the afternoon especially the 50 percent test and it was still really close so yeah deep cool just continuously knock it out of the park and give us value that you just don't find from other brands i particularly like the way it looks as well it's very unique it's very deep cool they've gone for the square kind of angular very technically polished sort of look and overall i just absolutely love it these are i suggest in general uh deep cool coolers hand over fist just because of the value uh these do come with a three-year warranty as well and the price point is really solid in general as well if you want to get fk 120s they are sold on e-tech in the three fan pack and if you're looking for fans especially for your intake that are going to be really good then look no further price versus performance considered they're basically untouchable especially with what's available at e-tech so yeah I mean, we like it deep cool in general i mean i'm converted i've got it like i said a ch510 inch digital and the honestly once my uh, front fans give up the ghost i'm just gonna get a set of fk 120s because they're incredible and there's nothing that even comes close to them at the price point so yeah it's a bit of a bully beat down. <laughs> it's one-sided. Now, there's a part two to this, actually, because I've got the CH780, the new big boy uh, case from Deepcool that has the 360 mil space on the back side like that to isolate that loop from the rest of the PC. And I'm very interested to see how something like this will perform in that chassis. So we'll be doing that sometime next week. Until then, Hope you guys stay safe, keep well. This is all I have for you on the LT720 and I will see you on the flip side.